everyone and welcome. I am Miss Jamie, one of the program facilitator at Malvern Family Resource Center. Let's start off with our welcome song to welcome everyone. Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? How are you today? Welcome and let's start program now. Happy Chinese New Year and Lunar New Year to everyone. Well, boys and girls, today we are going to continue to learn more about the culture. And you know what? We have a special guest today too. That's why I am super excited for today's program. Well, let's start off with some fun decoration and craft. Boys and girls, for today's craft, we are going to be making a fish from this red envelope. That's right. So in Chinese, fish is called yu, which sounds exactly the same as leftovers, which means we have more than enough. So that's why during Chinese New Year, we love having fish, yu. And there is a spring couplet uh, that says lin lin yao yu, nian nian you yu, which means every year we have more than enough and we have left over. Yep, so boys and girls, for today's craft, you'll need a red envelope, uh, you'll need a pair of scissors, and a stapler, or if you have some glue that works as well. Uh, and optional, you can have a pen as well for marking. Yep, so boys and girls, this is really easy. Are you guys ready? You have all of your materials. So let's start off with this envelope. Uh, we are going to turn this over and we are going to fold this into a triangle because uh, we want to get a square shape. So let's match the corners and the edges like this. And once you're ready, we are going to press it down and make this into a square. Yep. So do you kind of see the triangle over here? We have some uh, parts over here that we don't need. So we're just going to cut along this line. See how that opens, right? Let's close it like this and we're going to cut along this line. Here are my pair of scissors. And let's cut like this. These parts we don't need, we can put them aside, uh, throw it in the garbage can or recycling afterwards. So now we have a perfect square, right? And it opens on top like this. It opens on top, yep. Uh, so make sure you get the square of the bottom half of the envelope, not the top half, okay? So this is what it looks like. What we need to do next is to open this part. Okay, you see how that opens on the top. We are once again going to take our scissors and cut this part open. Let me show you. For this craft, we need to do some cutting. And so boys and girls, if you need help, uh, ask a parent at home, ask an adult to help you with the cutting. Ta-da, so when we're done with the cutting, it opens up like this. This is what it looks like. See, this is our envelope. This is what it looked like originally. And now when we open it, it opens up like this. So this is our envelope. And now we are going to cut out the mouth part of the fish and we're going to cut it out on this corner. So remember how it opened up right on this side. And now we're going to cut out the mouth on this corner. And for the mouth, you can have a bigger mouth or smaller mouth, uh, depending on what kind of mouth you want, but we're going to cut it out like this. You see? Yep, like a little square. Let's pull this a little bit out and ta-da, do you see it? 
it already looks like a mouth. Now that we have the mouth ready, we are going to continue uh, to the tail of the fish. This time we are going to fold uh, the envelope in half again, this way though, okay? So here is the mouth, right? We're going to fold it this way. Make sure this is tight. Got it? Yes. So once again, here is the mouth. Uh, we are going to start cutting from this corner. And we are going to cut a curved line out. I'm going to draw the curved line out uh, for us to see. something like this. Can you see it? So we start cutting from this corner and we go round and round and curve to this corner. Got it? Let me cut it out and show you. So starting with this corner, go carefully around following the lines, cut. This part we don't need, we can put this away and you will get a curve similar to this. Okay, now let's open it up and you should get something like this. It already kind of looks like a fish, right? <laughs> yep, so this is the tail part. What you'll need to do next, you see there is a line here. Yes, if you look closely, you'll be able to see there's a crease and we are going to take our scissors, start cutting from this corner, and we're going to cut in like this. Not all the way through, but uh, about midway. So let's take our scissors again and start cutting from this corner and carefully going in halfway like this. As you can see, we have made a cut like this for the tail of the fish. What we are going to do next is to... Uh, Take one piece out, and then we're going to overlap it like this. See it? Take one piece out and overlap. And on the other side, this might go thin. Uh, if you would like to, you can actually push this part out. And when we cross it like this, Both sides will be popped it up. This like that, this part, see it? <laughs> because if you only do it on one side, then the front part will be out, uh, but the back part will be in, but that is up to you. And what we are going to do next is to take our stapler. We're going to slide this in and we're going to staple it together. So we can stick our fingers in the hole over here to push it back out. Uh, this doesn't seem too uh, stable yet, so I'm just going to add one more staple in to make sure this is tight. There we go. Ta-da! Here is our fish. <laughs> Do you like our craft for today? Did you make your own fish too? This fish, it's really pretty. So boys and girls, let's add more decoration to our home. Uh, today, Miss Jamie has prepared a piece of red paper, uh, a square piece. Usually we like to put it like this in a diamond shape. And here is my black marker. Or if you have brushes at home, you can use that as well. And today, Miss Jamie is going to write one word for us. This is called fo. Fu.
So this is what it looks like. And it means blessings. There are many traditions and practice during Chinese New Year. And one of the most common one is this one followed by almost every family uh, is to have this word blessing on the front door. So we would stick this on the main entrance. And uh, there is actually something funny about it. We don't just stick it up like this, but we like to stick it upside down. Yes. And the reason it's because uh, this means do, do means upside down, also means um, coming or it's receiving it's something it's going to come to you. So we would like to say that the blessing is going to come to us. So a lot of families like to do this and they like to stick the word upside down. But it's always up to you, friends, if you would like to stick it up like this. Also works. Hello, everyone. Yes, it's Miss Kitty. Happy Chinese New Year or Happy Lunar New Year's. And Kitty here wish you all the best in the years of tiger. Yes, you're right, the year of tiger. So today, Kitty is going to show you how to draw a simple, easy tiger. So what I want you to do right now to get some material ready. So what you have to do is get a piece of paper. You can pick any color you like. I pick white. And then you can get markers ready. And Kitty has orange. Yes, you are right, black. Yes, you are right, it's yellow. If you don't have markers at home, you can get crayons. And crayon Kitty has orange. Kitty has yellow. And black. Yes. If you don't have that, that's okay. You can use pen or pencil to draw a tiger. So now if you have your materials with you, we can count to 20 for the one who need time to get their materials. Are you ready to come with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Now we can start for drawing our tiger. So Kitty is going to show you my paper. Okay. So this is my paper. And Kitty is going to use the yellow markers. So this is the paper from top to the bottom. And Kitty would like you to open up the cap, yes, and draw a circle in the middle of your paper. Draw a circle in the middle of your paper, like this. Yes. Okay. And then Kitty would like you to draw a upside down U, 
as a years way up here. Okay, this is a taiga hat, taiga face. Okay, so now I want you to draw a tiger ears upside down you like this and like this. Yes. And now I would like you to draw a rectangle, okay? As a body, okay? One straight line here. One straight line here. Like that. And you closing up like a rectangle, like that. And then a tail, a curve lines here. Yes. So now I would like you to use some time to color inside using yellow crayon. This is my yellow crayon. And color, 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 color. Inside, inside the face, the ears. Yeah. If you're at home, you always can take your time to color inside, okay? And don't forget the body. Everything in yellow. Yay. Yay. Yes, just like me, everything in yellow. Okay, so now I want to use a orange markers. Okay, so you will see the line here. I want to use it the orange marker to chase the line, the outline of the tiger. Okay, just like that. Open up, eee! open it. And then you see the hat is right here. I'm going to use the orange to trace on the yellow like this. And then the ears upside down you. Yes, upside down you. Yes. And then don't forget the body, the rectangle body is right here. Done. Done. And then closing up. Done. And what do we need? The tails. Yep, the tail. Yes. Okay. So now I want you to close it back up, Cap. And now we are going to use our last color. Black. Open up. Yes. And now I want you to draw eyes on the tiger. You can draw two eyes. One here and one here. Yeah, this is my eyes. And then an upside down triangle as a mouth, okay? Upside down triangle as a mouth, like that. And then color inside it with black, like this, okay? Yes. And then we are going to draw a slitted circle and the tails like this. Ah. And what do we need? Whiskers. Yep, you are right. So we are going to draw three over here and three over here as well. So it's one, 
two, three. And here, one, two, and three. Aha! And what do we miss? Of course, the strike. So what we can do, we are going to draw three small triangle here. Kitty is going to show you. One, three, sorry, one, two, and three. Yeah, and draw inside. Make the black color inside here. One, two, three. Okay. And then over here at the top, we are going to draw three triangles. One, two, three. And color inside. Yes. Now is this side again three triangle one two three and what do we do color inside color inside are we all done almost don't forget about the body so what are we going to do in this side and that side? Draw three small triangle, okay? And one, two, and three. What do we do? Color inside. Color inside. Color inside. Aha! Mm -hmm. And at last, we have to go into draw three small triangles. One, two, three. And same thing, we're going to draw the black inside. Join the black inside. Join the black inside. Oh, look at my tiger. How is your tiger? Okay, now once we finish drawing our tiger, our cute tiger, then we are going to write the word of tiger. Okay. So tight is start with a letter T. T I Yes. G And R. Yes. Look at my tiger. Look at my cute tiger. So Kitty is going to show you my tiger in a second. Okay. And this is my tiger. Isn't it cute? Yes. It's so cute. Thank you. If you have time, please, you can do it again and again and again and again, okay? And tiger, start with a letter T, T-I-G-E-R. And can Kitty wish you all the best in the year of tiger. Bye-bye, see you next time. Friends, did you know uh, there is another name for Chinese New Year and it is Lunar New Year. And not only do Chinese celebrate a Lunar New Year, but there are people from different countries 
uh, with different background, they also celebrate Lunar New Year. Uh, they have similar practice, but they are not exactly the same. Well, let's see whom else uh, celebrates Lunar New Year. Uh, so uh, the Vietnamese, they also celebrate Lunar New Year. And for their New Year, it's called Tet. Yes, so in Vietnam, they have, um, they have fun, they enjoy their holiday. Uh, during the same time this year, it would be February 1st. Uh, and their New Year, it's called Tet. Up next, we have South Korea. And their New Year is called Siolo. Uh, and they also celebrate Lunar New Year, but with a different name. And look, this is their traditional clothing. So beautiful, right? Love the colors and love the dresses. And this is Imlek from Indonesia. Uh, I guess they also like to uh, celebrate with lanterns, right? Look at these lanterns, the red lanterns that we are familiar with. Uh, and once again, this is Imlek, celebrated by Indonesia, uh, and they are also celebrating Lunar New Year uh, at the same time. Once again, it's February 1st this year. And lastly, we have Konsirea, and this is from Malaysia, <laughs> look at their beautiful clothing, red colored, yes, and they also like to wear red during Lunar New Year because it means luck and blessings. I love seeing how everyone celebrates their New Year differently, but at the same time, they're all full of love and laughter. Now, boys and girls, how do you celebrate your New Year? Any similarities you can find in today's program? Any differences? Feel free to share with your friends and with Miss Jamie. Now, boys and girls, let's sing our song, Happy New Year, together. You can hold out a fist, and you can wrap it like this, put it close to your chest, and shake it gently like this. Yep, and when you do this, it means greetings to uh, whomever you're seeing, your friends, and your family. Just like this. Greetings. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you all. We are singing. We are dancing. Happy New Year to you all. Very good job. Let's sing it one more time. This time in Chinese. Once again, hold on your fist and wrap it around. Bring it close to your chest. 新年快乐，新年快乐，祝大家新年好。我们唱歌，我们跳舞，祝大家新年好。新年快乐，圣诞快乐，means Happy New Year. Wow, I had so much fun today, and I learned so much about Chinese New Year and Lunar New Year. Boys and girls, did you learn something new? Did you enjoy today's program? Well, if you wanted to learn more, no worries. You can always ask an adult or your parents. Maybe try taking out a, a library book and you can learn so much more about it. There are a total of 15 days during the Chinese New Year period. And today, I had so much fun making these crafts with you too. Did you like them? I think they're so pretty and so much fun to make them. Well, once again, Miss Jamie wishes everyone to have a wonderful and safe year. Well, until next time, bye for now. It's time to say goodbye. So let's take out our microphone and sing a bye-bye song together. Bye 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 bye. Bye 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 bye. Bye 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 bye. Thank you for joining us today. I had so much fun with you. Feel free to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more videos. Hope to see you soon again. Bye bye.